accountability. It's about you're basically making a promise to yourself, a promise to yourself and a promise to those around you. That can be scary. You should try to push yourself into an area that you might have not tried before or into an uncomfortable situation where you're going to grow. You create that promise for yourself and say, I'm going to go to the gym three times this week. Okay, I think we're live. Take it away, Tom. All right. Well, my dog is just conveniently freaking out right now at this very moment. <laughs> Hi. Devil. We, we Devil. are, I don't know, something's outside. I'm going to go let him out quick. We are talking about accountability today, though, unless he calms <laughs> down right away. Okay, I'll we just... are uh, talking about, does the word accountability scare you? Because I don't think um, it can be. It can seem scary, like someone's going to hold you accountable. It sounds like sometimes there's somebody with like a whip standing over you, like trying to, you know, keep you accountable in that sense. But I don't think that, I mean, I don't see it that way personally. I see it as something that somebody who is holding you accountable um, is somebody there who's who really has your best interests at heart. Yeah. That's what they're there for. Um, it's not it's not somebody who's just saying you need to do all these things because or it's like encouraging you to do certain things or certain habits because it's gonna be it's gonna be bad for you. It's gonna be like a there's gonna be a bad end result. That's not that's not what we as coaches do anyway. And I think that word. It can be scary, but if you kind of come at it with the mindset of this person is here to help me and wants what's best for me, then I think the word accountability takes a whole different kind of meaning. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I, I'm guessing Neville didn't need to go outside now. I don't know. He, I'll, 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 think I'm I'll, I'll, He's like, Dad, I know you're going to talk about accountability. You're good. You're good. Um, I yeah, know. I think I, of it as a support system. It's accountability... You don't have to be afraid of accountability. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solo chat here for a while. But the word accountability can have a lot of negative connotation to it. right? You think of someone who is going to guilt you if you miss a habit, who's going to um, make you feel uneasy, basically. Well, that's not the case, or at least that's what we don't like to do with our clients. right? It's, I think even sometimes our coaching clients are probably surprised when they message us or we see that, hey, on their compliance tracker, maybe they didn't get as much as they wanted or as much as we had laid out for the week. And our response is maybe not what they expect. It's like, hey, it's all good. Let's reset. Let's do it again next week. But with time and consistency, you start to become not just accountable to someone else, like a coach, but the goal is to get you accountable to yourself. Right, accountable to standards and practices and daily disciplines you want to set out for yourself. Because in the end, that's what gets someone to the results they want is these small daily deposits in their health and fitness. Yeah. That's um well what you said there about like people maybe not or expecting our response to be something a little bit different, but it's always like you've probably heard this a million times over, you can't change what you did yesterday or last week. So it's always like, okay, how do you, how do you feel about last week? how do you feel it went? And sometimes like, well, like I, I basically did what I could, like I couldn't fit all this in. And it's like, okay, maybe that was on us for giving you too much for that week. And it was, or it was a super busy week. You had a bunch of stuff come up, whatever. Um, but it's always like, okay, what can we do this next week to make sure that you don't, even if you, you know, you did everything you could, but you don't feel good about the week. Okay, what can we do next week to make sure that you do feel good about the week that you just went through and you kind of accomplished everything that you said that you set out to do? And sometimes that means going a little bit, maybe less than you think you need to do quite often. That's what it actually is. Like, I don't know if we talked about on our last one or one of our previous talks, I'm sure we talked about about how we start people off with very small amount of habits to focus yeah. on. Um, it, at the start, it maybe seems like it's too simple, but I'd rather have it be that way and have you nail it 80 plus percent of the time for the first couple of weeks than overload you with a bunch of habits that you are nailing 50, 60% of the time. I want you to see some success. And then sometimes that is, that's, you know, more than enough. 
And then it's funny by the end of the program, um, you'll see like maybe you started with like three or four habits and by the end it's like 10 or 12 yeah. that, and maybe some of those habits have gotten built into routines. So maybe it's like even way more than the 12, the three or four actual habits that you started with. Maybe it's, you know, that whole, our tracker sheet, if you've ever seen Matt post a screenshot of it for his resilient alpha people, like there's, um, we have a bunch of different things to track, but that sheet will be full from top to bottom yep. of different habits that these people are working on and nailing the majority of the time throughout the week. And, but it starts small and that's with, with anything. Um, but that's where that, yeah, that coaching aspect and the accountability from a, a coach or somebody else um, comes into play and just, yeah, starting small and um, yeah, no, I think that mindset shift again of just viewing accountability as someone who is like someone who is there to help you that's the mindset shift i think that needs to be taken that we're not there you know cracking the whip over you or anything like that it's, yeah well if you think yeah. of it like in rephrasing the meaning in your mind it's, it's the accountability essentially means support or at least what we try to do so when we say support that means you have someone to be accountable to, but support you in your struggling, right? So we've seen the success rate of people getting the results exponentially higher when we add this layer of accountability, right? This layer of support for them. So in our transformation program, which you probably have all heard us talk about quite a bit, it's a culmination uh, of years and years of knowing there's something missing and knowing there needs to be a support system accountability piece in order to get people to internally and externally change who they are change their lifestyle because that's a hard thing to do right you need a support system to change your lifestyle so that you achieve the results but then maintain those results so what it's about it's about the person it's about the person in the program um when you think of accountability in terms of someone who is just like cracking the whip like you use your analogy there, Tom, or example, that's more about them, right? It should be about the person. It should be about their goals. It should be about their ability to maintain and um, comply, keep the compliance tracker up to date, and then support where we can and for them to know that there's a support system, accountability, accountability system in the coach, but also just in the gym setting as a whole, right? We have in our group settings, a lot of people notice if, let's say someone comes to the 12 a.m. or 12 a.m., the 12 p.m. class consistently, they'll notice if they're not there. Yeah, it only takes a couple. I mean, if you normally come, some people have a schedule that they come like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday or something like that, or if they're there every day of the week and someone's not there for a couple of days in a row, it'll be like, Hey, not that it's, it's not like a, like I said, like, Hey, you weren't here. Like you need to show up. It's like, we missed you. Like yeah. what was up? Hopefully, hopefully everything was okay. That sort of thing. And just um, checking in on the people that maybe you do normally go to class with. Um, that's another big, and even just like the act of signing up for a group class session like we found like you you've set an appointment with yourself even if you yeah, you don't have a a coach for these extra meetings or whatnot but you are accountable to yourself and now a coach knows when you sign up they they know that you're on the list for that night and you know if you have to cancel you have to cancel but hopefully everything's okay and somebody if it happens like time after time after time and somebody is gonna or if we haven't if you haven't seen you for a couple of weeks we will just check in to see how you're doing yep because it's yeah like matt said like you, you don't get the you get the results from those small things accumulated over time and we want to make sure that i mean if health and fitness is a priority for you which it probably is if you have a membership at any sort of gym mm -hmm. then showing up is going to be the most important thing consistently yep and i think on uh, in the same topic on accountability it's about you're basically making a promise to yourself and that can be scary a promise to yourself and a promise to those around you that can be scary so when you make a promise you have to have a mixture of grace for yourself mm -hmm. right and our coaches have that too it's because you don't want to 
not make these promises or create try to create these disciplines and habits in your life because you're scared that you're not going to attain them right that's going to just keep you complacent and stationary you should try to push yourself into an area that you might have not tried before or into an uncomfortable situation where you're going to grow you create that promise for yourself and say i'm going to go to the gym three times this week you're creating that promise and then you track it by checking it off in, in a notebook or with our coaching clients we have a whole tracker built out but you're acknowledging that you got that promise done but if you miss it it's not the end of the world right there's there's room for grace there's room for the ability to be like i didn't get it today but tomorrow it's another day that's why we always talk about that 80 20 rule all the time yep. if we can consistently hit our habits 80 percent of the time you're doing pretty darn good because there's always gonna be things that come up or you know reasons why you can't do this specific thing today yep. but if you make it if you make these habits small enough and manageable enough you should be able to hit them 80 80 plus percent of the time absolutely i only got one more parting thought i guess when just to think i guess the question to think about if there was like if you can think of all the times that you've had some sort of accountability built into anything in your life is there a time that you've done better without accountability I think that that would be really hard to find a time when you haven't done better without accountability. I know for yeah. like myself personally, and I'm sure you can attest to that too. Whenever you have somebody keeping you accountable or something um, like an appointment, keeping you accountable, um, it's, it's always better. Even, even if you think of accountability, I don't know if you guys can hear Duke barking, but he's barking pretty loud. Our dogs are having a great day today. Um, you think of accountability being someone you're accountable to, a group, a promise, like a habit, or also a purpose, right? Like when you really find out why you're doing something, you're accountable to that purpose. So if you say, I want to be a, um, a part of my child's life for as long as possible and active in their life, you're now accountable to that. And that can be scary, but that also enables you push through the difficult times and try to keep that promise to yourself. Love it. Thanks for joining everyone. 